everybody. Hello. So today we are going to be reviewing the Flash season five, episode ba, twenty. Ba, ba, ba. Oh. <laughs> Title called Gone Rogue. So this episode starts us off with Team Flash using every piece of tech they have to find Nora, who has disappeared into the. They think the speed force, but it's actually the negative speed force. And so um, she eventually comes back out and she breaks into an architect firm, um, trying to uh, architect firm to steal blueprints for a weapon manufacturer company called um, McCulloch Technologies. Yeah. Yeah, so they she tries to do that, and in doing so and breaking into this company, she needs it to steal something which we don't know yet, and she ends up getting a bunch of other meta human to join up with her to go I mean, on this heist. The they were just people; they were regular people who had meta tech. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. No, the rag doll is meta human. Mm -hmm. He's he. His mask is Meditech. Huh. Okay, yeah. well... <laughs> so if you take the mask off, then he done, and he's regular. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, anyways, yeah. Well, they got, uh, she got, she brings in a uh, Weather Witch, uh, Ragdog, and, um, Queen Bee, who we see on the arrow. Okay, That's where she came from. <laughs> you don't remember? I uh, don't remember. I, I was she, wondering. I was like, who is she? How did she... I don't watch the arrow only. I watched the arrow up to like season five and I kind of like stopped watching it. But yeah. Yeah, she's from there. She's the one that um, she she was going through cancer and mm -hmm. then she needed that chip that is in Felicity's leg. Uh, yeah. And she came after Felicity again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's her. But yeah, moving on. So, you know, they. They need to break in, and um, Nora can't do this on her own. And then, because by going in there, um, this McCulloch Mac technology, their site place, they have a super meta human powered dampener in there. And she's, um, Nora is pretty much a meta human, you know, she has, in a way, you know, so she, her powers will not work. While these, other people, they have meta tech, which it doesn't get detected, and they're fine. You know, nothing happens to them. So that's why she needs them. But she doesn't tell them about it. And so she kind of just doesn't tell them anything and just asking them for help to, you know, go with her on it. And then whether which finds out who she is and finds out her name is Noor and finds out that her father is the Flash. So, you know, they still help her anyways. And then, um... During this process of going through um, Nora going through her heist, um, Team Flash they are trying to uh, figure out um, a way to help her figure out what she's doing. And Barry comes to um, encounter encountering his daughter and having a talk with her, but she still feels like he abandoned her, and she still you know she runs off and you know when she runs into the native speed force, her eyes turn red, and Barry saw that, and Barry got really upset that his daughter is corrupted by Thawne, and him and Iris goes into another argument again, like. They're not happy about it, and like she's not, he's not happy about it. But she's, Iris isn't seeing it that way. And then we get Papa Joe, who comes to the rescue and said, no matter what, he will never trust a person like Thawne. But Barry has to understand that he is not, he's, he shouldn't be looking at the situation of Thawne. He should be looking at the situation he has to trust in his daughter, not Thawne. I yeah. like, I like. Papa Joe. I yeah. think uh, he he's a very pivotal character in the story of the Flash that they have on CW. He has although he doesn't have as much screen time as everybody else, his character is very meaningful. And his character kinda kinda like glues the the, the members together in a way because he although he has no meta powers he has no meta tech, 
what he has is he brings them the human side the side where what about the people and that's that's the part that he that he does a really that his character really re resembles and i like that i like that his, you know whenever they go through like a tough time where, where they're kind of um losing themselves or um getting, getting too stripped apart you mm -hmm. know by the by the villains and by their their events he's always the guy that kind of brings them back kind of showing them that you know hey we're a family and you know we shouldn't allow these things to separate us we should work together and so I like and I really like what he said to Barry you know like he kind of showed Barry that yes I don't trust them either but I have but I trust my kids and you should trust your daughter although she she's naive and she doesn't know what she's doing and even though she's getting directions from Thon, you have to trust that she knows just enough to not do what Thon wants, but do what she wants, just being um, given advice from Thon. And so there's a difference, yeah. So I, I do like what he said to Barry there. So with uh, Nora, uh, before they go and break into this technology company, Nora was able to bring you know her young rogue team and break into Star Lab to steal um, stuff from the Star Kai's, and they stole uh, Spencer's young meta meta tech phone, Cisco Sherlock, and then so they have uh, Cisco pre pretty much. What did they have Cisco do with the phone? Yeah, uh, they had him. Um, hack into it so okay. that because it's not their meditech, mm -hmm. so it only works off of the DNA of Spencer Young, and so Cisco had to hack it so that they can use the meditech for themselves. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they have Cisco do that, and they left some bees behind to you know watch over Cisco and Sherlock while they go and like. Um, break into their heist, do their heist and stuff like that. And like, you know, before that, you know, we know Cisco. He said he's going to do it, but he goes and does other things. And he was able to, you know, shut the bee off for a bit so that they could leave and run away. Yeah, that's one thing that you don't ever want to ask hackers to do. Is you don't ever want to hold a hacker and be like, and especially you don't know what you're doing. You know, you'd be like, oh, I want you to hack this for me. And think that you can hold a hacker hostage. A hacker is going to be like, okay, well, I'm going to hack it for you, but I'm also going to put something in it so that it benefits me. Yeah. And it was just, it was just so obvious that the moment they asked Cisco to do it, I was like, dumb move. Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, you guys are done, you know? Yeah, he'll do it, but yeah. you know, he's gonna set himself free. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Nora and the team was able to break in, and um, they were able to steal the tech that Nora needed. But uh, Weather Witch and Queen Bee turns their back on her, and they change the plan. They want the Flash to come and save her and reveal himself. So you know, we get a Flash that does appear and talk stupidly and weird in front of, you know, um, Weather Witch and Queen Bee. And then plot twisted, the Team Flash was already in the scene disguised as some of the employees working there. And the Flash that appeared was actually a hologram of Flash, but it was Sherlock talking on the other end. <laughs> So you know how they created the when Barry lost his speed and they created the um, the hologram to go and help Central City. That's what they used again for this episode. And then um, they pretty much uh, Barry and Nora goes. They can't really use their powers because of the dampener thingy. And then they were able to knock that dampener down. And Barry and Nora ends up in flash time. And then they knock out Weather Witch and Queen Bee while, like, you know, Iris and Joe was outside fighting Ragdog Doll. Yeah. Ugh. Come on, he, like, fit in that suitcase and went into the pipe. mean, God damn. <laughs> he was in the trash can. Ooh. <laughs> damn. Everything. <laughs> I like how Barry got hit by the lightning and the electricity. And, um, he got hit and he just, like, got supercharged. And he was able to go into flash time well it it put him in flash time 
And the thing is, Nora's never experienced it before. Yeah. So when she when she touched him, she also got put into flash time. And um, although they didn't really make a big significance of it, I think that the characters will display it that, um, you know, she's never done it before. And she, yeah, and I think it's something she's going to discover later that she can enter it as well. Like yeah, flash time. Cause, because, you know, I think one thing that they, they, they've done this season is... Um, like in small details is they showed that Barry Barry's faster than her he is he is the fastest but he doesn't run at full speed like everybody else because he knows that there are consequences when he runs that fast he will time travel and so we've seen it throughout this season over and over and over that when Barry needs to run extremely fast he can run so fast that other speedsters stop moving or they move slowly so that's actually like super duper interesting because if you guys remember like a couple episodes ago when cicada 2 attacked right and she threw and she uh threw the dagger in barry ran so fast to go get the family that nora was moving slow the, so and remember nora was never able to uh run faster than the dagger last second yeah. Barry was able to do it and it's just so how it all comes down to the fact that he is much faster than her he is much faster than zoom uh Thon and them but he just chooses not to run that fast because he knows that if he runs that fast if he runs faster than them he will time travel so, you know, after everything, Nora reveals that she, uh, her plan all along, she broke into the tech company to steal a mi mirror gun. <laughs> <laughs> which is built from satellite shard and is capable of destroying anything, including Cicada's dagger. Yeah, so, yeah. You, so this is one thing that, that we didn't really talk about was how the this McCulloch company... They were the guys that were sent in to clean up um, one of the crash sites for the satellites. And, and obviously, instead of just cleaning it up and throwing it away, they, they cleaned it up. But then they stripped the satellite apart and used parts of it as Meditech. Yeah. So that was why she was after those guys, was because they have specific Meditech that was developed from those scraps of the um, satellite. Yeah. So, you know, Barry is still iffy that this is, like, you know, Thon's idea in the first place. But he agrees with the plans and decides to use it to stop Cicada. Yes. And that is not all. So, earlier in the episode, we got Ralph and uh, Caitlin going back to her father's lab to figure out what Cicada has stolen. And they came back to tell Team Flash that Cicada has stolen protocol prototypes of Cisco's metahuman care yes. and plans to use the um, cyro the cryo, cryo, <laughs> cryo generator to kill every metahuman with it. Yeah. yeah, so you guys are, so you, um, Cisco made a lot of prototypes, but then those prototypes, the, the doses were too strong, so, and, and if any metas took it, it would kill them, because the doses will completely knock out their meta powers, but then right at the moment it knocks it out, it poisons the body and kills them, and so he stored those away, and uh, obviously Cicada's goal is to kill metas, kill all metas, and so she, by stealing those prototypes, she can launch it through the cryo generator and blast it in Central City completely, killing all metas. And obviously, it's only got to be metas. Yeah. Yes. And so, with that, we get to see the older Grace Cicada with the young Grace, and she is working on it on that generator. And we get Uncle Orlin. He's back. Damn that guy. Oh. Yeah. I'm so disappointed. In him. <laughs> I hope it's like this. Orlin from the past that she grabbed to the future. I hope it is because it, it because I it felt so nice to see Orlin snap turn, out of it and turn yeah. good because he really he was just he he loves Grace. It's his niece and he loves her. But then to see that he turned good and finally realized what he was doing was 
was not his doing, but Grace's doing. And then, like, she killed him. But then, all of a sudden, she's like, Uncle Orlin. And he's like, eh, eh, eh. and I'm like, God damn it. Ah, Orlin, yeah. Orlin, Orlin. So that ends the episode for us. And we get the preview for the next one, which is titled The Girl with Red Lightning. So, Team Flash is going, um, gets a high alert that Cicada is uh, threatening them to unleash this uh, the virus that she had created and created and all metahumans are at risk and they have to save these metahumans. Yes. Yeah, so we do see something happen to Nora. We do see a lot of the metahumans end up at CCPD. We do see Killer Frost get beaten up. So, yeah. Yeah, so there was a lot of snapshots quickly. Um, we, we get to see Nora looks like she's dead. Barry is worried. Barry doesn't know what to do. Um, we see that uh, Caitlin looks like she is dead or beat up. Cisco, same thing. Um, Ralph, same thing. And the, and the meta is that, that obviously because they are afraid, they go to CCPD. And which, which, which kind of led me to think about this might be the moment where we get to see Sherlock confront his wife in Earth in, in this Earth about her meta powers because obviously we we do know that she has meta powers. Yeah, and it's like you know he's afraid to confront her about it because uh, you know he doesn't in his other worlds Earth that he's right. in his wife is never a meta human but in this one she is and it's kind of like Cisco afraid to admit his meta powers to um, his girlfriend. Yeah. So they're kind of like in the same situation. Yeah, so. Yeah, but th this this episode obviously is is um, almost the end. We are approaching the end of this season very, very quickly now. And I believe this, uh, this is going to be the episode where they do beat Cicada. Yeah. So Barry is definitely, obviously, I've you know, we've read some sort of some... Um, spoilers and synopses and we do know that um based off of one of the sources barry does get some help from fun about how to beat cicada so it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out because barry doesn't want to trust thon but thon being that thon is from the future he knows shit that barry doesn't know and so that does that will help him out yeah but yes, that is it for this Flash review, and we are going to have two more before the season ends. Dang, almost over. Yeah. Um, I remember the previous season, there are always like 25 episodes. This one is only 22. So this yeah. season is actually short, and they took a lot of break Yeah. compared the, to the previous seasons. Yeah, I, 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 it's interesting. Uh, it's a little interesting that they took a lot of breaks, but I, I, I do feel that the reason for it was because this season they, they had a, a, a much bigger cast. Yeah. They had a lot more people in, in this season, um, a lot more actors and actresses, and so it, it that probably was the reason why they were only able to do 22 episodes, just because, you know, the, the funding. In the, yeah. you know because the all the, the the other ones like they did they had a lot of CG and, and they only had a certain amount of they, they didn't have as much side characters and so I mean but I really hope that with the end of this season they will they will kind of end the side characters um, importance you know because by doing that like it really kind of pulled away from the the main core characters and I like that. They're they're slowly kind of putting them back in and being and making it about them. Yeah. So I hope that uh, next season we get at least twenty five. Yeah. But yes, that is it, and we will see you guys next time in the next flash review. See you guys. Bye.